Hello everyone, Miguel here from Unique Web Designer and in this video we are going to discuss citations. What are they, where can you get them from and why should you care? Are they important or are they not? And we'll start out right away and as always just a quick note, this, this is a live recording so you're going to get all my blunders and everything because I don't edit these videos and we're going to start out by going over the, the definition of what a citation is when it pertains to local SEO. And a citation is a reference of a business that features your business name, your address, and your phone number. You'll hear the word NAP a lot, and that's what a citation is. Name, address, and phone number. And so most citations take the form of an online business directory such as Yelp, Business, Google Business Profile, Facebook, and Bing. Now, one thing to differentiate is a citation from a backlink. A citation, as we said before, is a mention of your business by name, address, and phone number. It doesn't necessarily have to have a backlink. A lot of directories where you get citations for do provide you a backlink to your, to your business website and so a lot of people get that confused oh a citation is a backlink no it's just a mention of your business by name address and phone number anywhere online however like let's say if i have a website and i mention your business and i link back to your business but i'm not mentioning your business by name address or phone number i'm just saying this is a source like you know with the link to a page on your website that I think may be useful to somebody that's a backlink that's not a citation so just keep in mind that there's a difference there and now why are citations important citations are considered a ranking factors for local SEO having your business listed in trusted online directory basically gives Google a a signal that you can be trusted and the best way to think about this is Let's say you purchase a new home and everybody in your neighborhood is probably thinking, oh, somebody just moved in there, but they don't know you. They don't know if you're good. They don't know if you're bad. They don't know anything about you. They may have some misconceptions or they may make judgments based on, you know, the car that you're driving, this and that, but they don't know anything about you. So they're like, mm, we don't know. Now, there may be some people in your neighborhood that will come by and say, hey, welcome to the neighborhood, and they'll get to know you, and may, maybe you'll build trust. However, let's say you move into your house, and that same day, you knock on all of your neighbor's doors, and you say, hey, I'm so-and-so, I just moved to the neighborhood, and this is what I do, let's get together sometime, just to get to know you, yada, yada. What happens? the neighborhood is going to start trusting you the people are going to say oh this is a nice guy now they still don't really know much about you but you've presented yourself to them that's what a citation is if you are mentioned in trusted places by name address and phone number google is going to say oh well these guys trust them they're mentioned in all of these places like you know yelp bing and so on so we should that must be a legitimate business so they they boost your rankings a little bit and here we're gonna go over this graph this was done by white spark i just copied it here and these are the the ranking factors according to them so they do a lot of studies and do a lot of testing and they put out a list every year of their most important ranking factors when it comes to the local pack which is the the google maps where you see all the businesses that are near you and then the local organic searches and what you'll see is like let's say in the lo the both places are similar you know the the way you rank but there are some differences and and let's just go over the top ranking factors according to them and remember this is about citations but i just want to go over this so that you guys get an idea of what should what you should be focusing on. So GMB signals, that's Google Business Profile signals. So in other words, do you have the right category 
listed on your Google business profile? Are you providing enough information about your business for people to understand it? And can people easily look at your profile, see images and see reviews and so on. So on page signals, on page signals is on your website is the content that you're providing people associated with your business. In other words, are you using keywords that tell, you know, your prospects what you do, where you do it. And at the same time, it's telling you Google that same information. So your own page signals, you know, is your H1, your header, your most important header. Is it mentioning a keyword? So in my case, my H1 is for Lauderdale Web Design Agency. In other words, I'm telling Google, this is who I am. This is where I do my work. And this is the most important thing on this website. And then everything from there is just supporting that. So those are on page signals. Your your the way you're interlinking between your 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 pages, that's also an on page signal. So there's a lot of on page signals. It, it's just like I'm not gonna go into all the details, but I just wanted to for you to get an idea of what that's referring to. Now review signals. Review signals is basically your reviews. How many reviews do you have on Google Business Profile? How many reviews do you have on Yelp? So all of these things are going to help you move up the, the, the rankings. And the more reviews you have, the more you know five star reviews you have, yes, the better. And it's better when they're on Google Business than anywhere else. Other places are good, but obviously Google is going to trust their information a lot more than any other place. Now, behavioral signals. This one is, is a little tough, but basically what this one is referring to is, okay, so somebody does a search and your business comes up and do they click on yours or do they click on someone else so that's a behavioral signal right there now if they click on yours when they go to your website do they actually interact with your website or do they just hit the back button and go somewhere else how much time are they spending on your website are they visiting several pages on your website so that's what behavioral signals are about then we have citations so number one two three four five Six, the sixth most important ranking factors according to, to Whitespark are citations. And we already know what citations are, so we're not going to go back over that. And then over here on the local organic, it's literally the same thing, so I'm not going to go over that side. But just, just so that you get an idea, citations are not the most important factor when it comes to your your business ranking on the Google searches. However, it is a very important signal. And no matter what company you believe in or what study you believe in, what test you believe in, they all mention citations. Here they're saying it's seven percent. Some companies say, you know, some tests figure that it's a higher percentage, it's a lower percentage but one thing that they all have in common is that they all say citations are important so it's always good to have good citations and right here so the top general citations what this is is basically what are the most trust trusted websites according to you know business leaders in when it comes to, to local SEO so kind of like let's let's just call it the most trusted websites when it comes to citations according to Google even though these th this information is not from Google but these are the websites that are actually trusted and so I put the links here and I'm gonna share these both of these links so that you guys have that information one thing to keep in mind is that both of these lists have are a little different they're both the top 50 and the way i look at it is if anybody's mentioned on both it's important now if you get them all from each of these listing 
Awesome. Normally, what I recommend is doing the top 30 to 50 and you're good. Like you don't need a thousand citations. You don't need a million citations. If you get the top 50, you're good. I mean, even even just the top 20 and you're ahead of most people. But if we, if you can get from 30 to 50, you're good. And so let me just show you these pages. I think I have them up. So right here, this is one. So the according to Bright Local, these are the top citation places, the top business directories. So you have Google Business Profile, Apple Business Connect, Facebook, Bing, Yelp, Foursquare, Snapchat, Waze, Here Maps, Nextdoor, TomTom. Tom. And what you'll see, this list actually tells you which are free. So in other words, if you open up a Google Business Profile, it's free and that's a free citation. The only thing you'll have to do is spend time obviously filling out the information. Now Foursquare, it says that it's free and then they have a paid version. Then you have right here ways, you have to pay for that one. So the ones that, that say paid, I would just, don't worry about it. Just do, do the rest of the citations and that's it. Like don't worry about paid citations or whatnot. Um, and then right here, this is the list from MikeSpark. And in White Spark on this page, they actually, if I go back, what you see, they break it down by by city. I mean by by country. So you know, if you're in the UK, you can just go to to the UK. And a lot of them are still kind of similar, the same. But you know, if you're in Canada, go ahead and go to the one that's Canada instead of the US. And right here, you'll see this is the top 50 according to them and what do you see google my business number one same as bright local apple maps facebook foursquare bing places yelp tantan so as you see everybody knows who the trusted guys are and that's where you want to be the most trusted if you can get 50 awesome if you can get 30 that's good enough so just find find those general directories that Google likes and these two lists are perfect if you can get in you know any most of these you're you're good to go like you don't have to worry about anything else when it comes to citation outside of next on the list is how to find industry and niche specific directories so you know you you have general directories in other words everybody can get in these directories yelp yelp if you're a restaurant yelp will accept you if you're a plumber yelp will accept you if you're a painter yelp will accept you i mean any service that you're providing yelp will accept you same thing for google my business google my business will accept any business you just gotta pick you know your 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 service directory and but citations go beyond just your general citations the the most important citations obviously yes the most trusted ones you want to be there but the most important citations when it comes to your actual business and the the effect that they're going to have on your rankings are niche relevant business directories and how do you find them it's very easy in my case since we provide local seo services for companies we use a software called sem rush no i'm not affiliated with them i but i like the software and that's the only reason why i'm mentioning it here but i'm not going to provide you their link because i don't sell their their software or anything like that um but sem rush you can do a search on google like let's say in my case i would do a search for web designing for lauderdale and the companies that show up at the top, if you put it on SEM Rush, you, you put that link, the, the website link, it will analyze that website and it will give you information as to, you know, the, the backlinks that they have, the directories that they're listed on, the citations, and so on. And what's good about that is that by doing this, you can find out niche specific directories that all of the top ranking websites are using in your industry so but 
most people I would say don't have two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars a month to spend just to find some citations or some backlinks. And so I don't necessarily recommend that anybody that's just doing one website purchases these types of software. It's useful for me because I can do research on a website and say 30 minutes by just inputting their competitors um, website into this software and I'll get all the information that I need but if you are just you know a solo person and you're managing one website you don't need to be spending two three hundred dollars because you could just spend a couple of hours and do the work that this software is doing by yourself or most of it because I mean it can scrape a lot of information that you won't be able to but in this case we're just looking for niche relevant business directors and I'll show you a search that you can just replicate is basically your niche plus business directors. so if I come to Google I believe I already did one so web design business director and that's because I'm a web designer if you were a plumber just change web design for plumber if you were a electrician change web design for electrician and and so on and what you'll see the very first result is top directory listings of web design firms so in other words anything that's in here should be relevant and this is actually a list this is a document where somebody wrote you know these are the the best web design directories and clutch we have a profile on clutch good firms we have a profile on good firms 10 best design firms to be honest I'm not sure if we do or we don't but most likely we do up city definitely have up city design rush we definitely have design rush and I'll show you I'll show you the one from like if you let me move this down I'll show you basically the one for design rush and I'll show you just doing a an actual search so here we are number three let's see design rush okay so top web design companies in Fort Lauderdale and this is the sign rush so so this is a niche specific business director and what you'll find is that almost everybody that was showing on the results are in here and I'm just gonna show you mine so that you you see so right here unique web designer ABC web service they're also showing at the top of the results unique web designer and basically if you view the 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 entire profile is going to have as listed the name the address and I don't know where they show the phone number but I believe uh, let's see there should be a place I'm not okay so contact so there's a place where they show the the phone number now a lot of these companies they use like forwarding um, forwarding phone numbers so that they don't display your actual phone number but but it's still a a citation so I don't know where they show it here but um, this is basically just just me trying to show you a citation an industry specific citation so if you go back to 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 your search just look over what shows up so right here we have top directory we already looked at that business directories on Google on dribble then right here you have top design firms so this would be another good one to to be on so 100 web design companies and directories and listings so you just go over the the top two pages and see what comes up and then one thing if you have like let's say web design and then I can do web development and I'll get some different results now this one is actually the same exact one which is the one that we went to now we have the sign rush as the the second 
top firms is SEM Rush, and then top developers.co. So all of these directories that you see come up in here, they're very niche relevant. So just change your keyword and do this search and you'll be good to go. Now you, you, you'll find some that are paid. Once again, anything that's paid, I just stay away from. I've never had to pay for, for a citation. And as you could see by the search that we did, we're ranking everywhere in Fort Lauderdale. And we're ranking not just for for a lot of the web design. We're ranking for for a lot of the web development, for a lot of the web designers. So that that goes to show you that you don't have to pay for citations. Now, so that's how you find niche relevant directories. Now, let's say you don't have the time to do this, and you just you don't have anybody on your team that you can give this to, and the next option is paying for a citation service now I personally have never paid for one even though we provide local SEO we actually just do ours manually for every business that we've ever done business with but if you're you know insistent on using paid services I'm going to show you two that a lot of people recommend. I personally, I'm not going to put these links because I'm not affiliated with these companies or anything. I'm just going to share them with you so that if you want to pay, you can, but you'll do that. You know, you do your own search and then you can find those services. So this one is from Bright Local and Bright Local is actually a great company. They do a lot of like local management for like your business profile and so on and what you'll find out is let's go all the way down so they're pricing right here if it's a man manual citation where they're like basically submitting to a bunch of different places is two dollars per site in other words yelp is two dollars google is two dollars bing is two dollars so per site per place that they're going to Put your information in it's two dollars if you do bulk i don't know necessarily what bulk means how many you have to do if it's if you're on, if you're doing if it's not bulk then it's 320 per site once again i don't know what bulk means so i don't know what the limit there is but those are their pricing and what you see here is just them comparing their service to other services so you have the bright local ex white spark sign up and one thing one thing that that i never do i never believe anything a company tells me on their website when they're comparing their product to someone else no company is going to say oh so and so is better than us they're going to you know put forth the best face for their business so that you're like oh they they're better than all of these so let's just check this other one. So this one is Yex, and this is another company that people, you know, recommend a lot in this industry. And so they charge four dollars per week, billed at one ninety nine per month. And these are all the ones that they would put you in. If you do this one, they put you in some more stuff, and then they mention that they'll optimize your 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 listing or whatnot so i mean personally once again i do not recommend paying anybody any company to create your citations because you can do it yourself the cheapest way to be honest that that i found to if you want to pay somebody is if you go over to fiverr.com and i'll just show you right away and you type in citation services and you'll get a lot of people here where they're saying I will local citation services I will do monthly GMB and local citation so anything that's monthly don't worry about it just do like a one-time thing and one thing that I would recommend like a lot of the people that you'll see on Fiverr they'll say oh i'm gonna give you a thousand citations you do not need a thousand citations i would actually 
recommend that you guys go over these two lists and you you know you you combine like 40 or 30 that are on both lists and then you add your you know 15 to 20 industry specific and then just send them a list say hey i want these 50 citations how much would you charge for it and on fiverr is just it's going to be a one-time fee so if you don't want to do it yourself just get somebody that can do it for a one-time fee a lot of these companies like this one you know they're trying to charge you a per week basis and a lot of this has to do with like maintaining your profile they're gonna let you know if you got a negative feedback if you receive like a negative feedback or whatnot and that's fine and dandy i don't frown upon it but i just don't recommend it like if you want to be on top of everything yes these companies provide a great service but when it comes to citations to be honest I've never paid for citations and I'm not keeping track of the citations that we've built over the years and I literally built all of our citations at the very beginning and then every now and then I'll I'll look I'll look around and if I see anything new that that popped up yes I'll build an extra citation but I've never managed my citations I've never paid anyone to manage them so you can just create the profiles do it yourself and forget about it like you don't need to know that i mean it's good to know that you receive like a negative feedback on yelp but listen if you get one negative feedback on yelp and on google business profile which is the only one that i actually pay attention to if you have 40 50 100 um five star feedbacks on google business profile they're not going to all of a sudden say oh we're not gonna trust you you suck just because you have one or two negative um feedbacks on yelp now if you do notice it yes respond to them try to fix the the situation because you never want people you know to have a bad um interaction with your business but if it happens you're not going to die and this and that's basically what these companies do they they provide a service where they're kind of like managing and just seeing everything that's happening with your citations your business profiles all over the internet and then they're reporting it back to you and like i said we've never done it and as you saw we're ranking for the key terms that we're interested in ranking for so there's no point there's no need if you want to that's fine and dandy but there's no need and that gets us to the end of the of the document so hopefully you guys found something useful from this and the the one thing that you need to take away is citations are important but they're not the only ranking factors there's a lot more ranking factors that you have to um, consider and I'll make other videos where I go into all of these other ranking factors but just keep in mind citations yes they are important and you want to do them whether you want to pay for them or not that's completely up to you but make sure that you're showing up in the top 20 to, to 30 business directories general business directories and then that you're finding your 15 to 20 industry specific directories and adding your business there if you do that you'll be okay when it comes to citations you'll never have to worry about citations again now one thing to keep in mind if you if your address changes make sure that you go back to all those profiles that you created and you change your address outside of that you'll never have to mess with the business directories so hopefully this video was useful to you guys and please if you did find something useful share it like it and subscribe to the channel so that you know whenever I put up my next video and as always unique is out <laughs>